Okay, welcome back to some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I hope you're not sick of this game yet, because I am not. I was like, mm, maybe I should play something else. You know, I've played quite a bit of the CDDA. And then I fired up some other game for like five minutes. Like, nah, what am I talking about? So we're going to do uh, another new game. Random start, sort of. I mean, we'll see. I can tweak some stuff. I don't have a problem with that. And I went ahead and I turned off a bunch of the... Well, I turned off a bunch of mods. There's still a shit ton. But I turned off a few of the really crazy ones. Uh, like the dinosaurs I turned off and uh, some of the robot ones and uh, a bunch of the ones that added new enemies because I feel like there's still so many enemies I haven't seen. But stuff that just adds like more guns or, you know, more like the, I really like uh, the wilderness one that adds more wilderness recipes. That's great. Yeah, so, you know, it's still extensive, but. Yeah, anyways. Random character. I like I like mods that add more food items. I feel like, you know, it basically every food item that exists should be in the game. That's what I think. All right, Amos Walter, he's a groom. <laughs> I don't know if that's a profession. Uh, very low strength and intelligence, decent perception. Dex. He's got a lot of skills. Archery, food handling, dodging, piercing, shotguns, tailoring, vehicles, survival. Most of those are at two. Animal empathy, indefatigable, light eater, pain resistant. Hmm. Well, he's not... Oh, he's also a tweaker. He's nomadic, and he has rigid table manners. Eesh. Yeah, we might have to... Let's just, uh, let's just re-roll, because I think I'd have to switch too much. All right. Evangelina Dial. Uh, she's an apprentice in the Seeker of the Arcane scenario. Uh, decent stats except for intelligence. One device, two fabrication, one marksmanship. Fast healer, good memory, and she's an arcanist. And her hobby is home gunsmith. <laughs> okay, so this would be more getting into magic if we wanted to do that. So she'd start with apprentice's notes. An aspiring student of well-learned master of the mysterious arts. You'd only just begun your apprenticeship when your master was claimed by the end of the world. Seeker of the arcane. They start in an arcanist enclave. You were drawn to this place in search of answers, in search of power. Whoever, whatever, once lived here, they've suffered the same fate as those in the cities, but some remnant of their mysterious work may remain. All right, let's give this a shot. I don't really feel the need to alter anything. I mean, it could be better, certainly, but that's the whole point. Uh, enter a strange grove where secrets lay buried among the trees. Right. Valerie Babcock is right next to us, and there's a shimmering light. It has no shape at all, yet you can see limbs and appendages poking out of and into its core. It clearly has some kind of sentience, judging by its informed actions. Alright, so we we don't know any spells. Apprentice's notes can bring my arcana skill to two. So now... There is a clear distinction. We have two magic mods. And normally I would think that's weird, but this is apparently what a lot of people run. So Arcana adds all sorts of, like, magic items and being able to create, like, glyphs and seals that you use as, like, a one-time use thing. Uh, whereas Magicalism adds magic classes and, like, wands and all sorts of much more magic stuff. So this is all Arcana stuff. Other than that, we've got some basic clothes, to rag tunic, a makeshift knife, uh, 20 matches. And we're with Valerie Babcock. 
He wants an inhaler. Otherwise, we're just in the strange grove. There's a pump station nearby. A prison over there. We probably want to avoid that. Attunement altar. Okay. I don't know what the shimmering light is or does. Doesn't sound good, though. Sounds like there's something right next to me. It's gonna be a very quick, quick game. Spotted a crack. Some form of otherworldly hound. That's not good. And there's zombies. There's zombies in the strange grove. Yeah, and the shimmering lights, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, I don't know what to do about the crack. Other than, no, oh, flaming eye. An enormous disembodied eyeball the size of a person flying through the air through some unknown agency. Wreathed in unnatural flickering blue flame, it possesses a blazing yellow iris with a slitted pupil like that of a cat and trails a set of flailing black tendrils as it slowly drifts about. Okay, it's ignoring me. Oh, now it's staring at me and I shudder. And there's a giant mosquito now. Disappeared. What does that mean? Zombie nadir. Hmm. I think I'm hallucinating. Oh no, that's... Ah. Felt pretty real. You're beset with the vision of a prowling beast. Oh, that must be the, what the crack is. Okay, that feels pretty real. Uh, I don't know, man. Feels kind of real. The crack is real. XO2 Grunt Combat Mech. Hmm. Crack is definitely real. I must enter the grove. It's the only hope. Oh god. That was that was a weird one. That was a pretty weird one. Okay. Anywho, uh moving on, perhaps something a bit more mundane. Sydney Flores. She's a photojournalist in the wilderness. Uh, she's got skills with submachine gun for some reason. Vehicles and social. These are probably the three least useful skills I could possibly imagine for her. She's deaf. She's got greater mana efficiency. She's pretty. She's a psychopath. She's a strict humanitarian. She's also a tweaker and a game master. What the fuck is this person? I mean, I don't know about greater mana efficiency. Strict humanitarian. You've con you're convinced that these things that look vaguely human from elsewhere are definitely not people. People. Therefore, it's okay to eat them, right? I don't know what that really means. And then tweaker. Amphetamine withdrawal. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Let's randomize that shit. Okay, Simone Levine, Mist, she's a Kanushi. Don't know what that means. Dexterity 10, Dodging, Fabrication, Tailoring. 
Yeah, that's not bad. Calm Mind, Deft, Lesser Man Efficiency, Light Eater. Okay. Uh, let's find a Perception. Deft's good. Lesser Mana Efficiency, though. Let's nix that and put it into Strength. Her hobby is cosplay and Kanushi. You're one of the maintainers of a Shinto shrine performing rituals and sacred tasks. You preferred it when only the spirits of the dead inhabited your shrine and not their rotting corpses. She starts with a cell phone and the Kojiki. All right, we're going to start in a city. Gives me another good chance to... Jesus. That's just cruel. All right, we got to book it then. Well, we don't need to run immediately. They're not that close. Thank you. What is that sound? Young Albino Deathclaw. Oh yeah, I added a, there was a Fallout mod. That's nice, huh? Alright, we gotta lose them all in the woods here. Fuck. Fuck. What chomped on this dude? That's sort of scary. Alright, just... Dodge and weave among the trees. You gotta break line of sight. Fuck, we didn't break line of sight. Now he's got us. And I'm out of stamina, so we're dead. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Fuck! Thought I might have had that one, actually. It was a shitty start, but I was right next to the woods. But that guy came out of nowhere. Alright. This is more what I expected to, to happen. It's just sort of... Do five or six different starts of horribleness. Everything's a learning experience, I suppose. Newton Bruiser Denton. Uh, he's a tank commander in the armored apocalypse scenario. Got strong lungs with a weak stomach. Archery 3, survival 3. Overall, handguns 3 is a little odd, but maybe he starts with a gun. He's got basic archer's form, but he has no strength, so he wouldn't be able to use any bow. Uh, so tank commander... He does start with a Beretta M9A1 in a holster, so that's pretty good. Armored Apocalypse. Wandering in search of any other survivors after a disastrous mobilization, your tank and its crew have slowly been worn down by attrition. After trying to establish communications using an old radio tower, the only other surviving crew member went off in search of supplies and fuel a few days ago. Now something stored up the undead. Several are converging on your position. And we start with an M1 Abrams main battle tank. This will be interesting. Uh, but I think we should try to grab some negative traits. Uh, you know, the usual contenders. Just to bump up our stats a little bit. Especially strength. There we go. Uh, all right. Let's see how it goes. Okay, a pupil sack. Some manner of insect encased in a thick, chitinous pupil case and covered in delicate, sticky webs. All right, I don't know where my tank is. Oh, it's to the north. Oh, it sure fucking is. Let me climb this tower real quick, though. Uh, soda can stove kit. 
crafted from a couple of aluminum soda cans. And a sleeping bag. Pretty heavy. Uh, I might need the sleeping bag, so let's wield it. I don't see zombies anywhere close by. Man, there's a fucking vehicle here. Uh, we got pretty good fuel, pretty good battery. The... The M240 has 87 shots of 7.62. 120 millimeter tank gun has one shot, and the M2 Browning with 50 m 50 BMG has 81 shots. Jesus, does this thing have any storage? Got a trunk. Sure does. Oh, with more M830 A1 120 millimeter heat rounds. High explosive anti tank. Packs an explosive punch that could ruin anyone's whole day. Look at that recoil. <laughs> 900,000 re recoil. Jesus. Um, combat knife. Alright, I have one of those. Good. Yeah, the M9A1. We've got two extra magazines. All loaded. So, 45 bullets total. Pretty good. Okay, we are cock, stock, ready to cock, what? Uh, we're, 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 we're in good shape, I guess, to start. Uh, coffee maker. Take the lighter. Uh, take a flashlight. Ocular mechanics. I think otherwise we're pretty good. Good God. Okay. We have a tank. What are we gonna do with it? There's a hub over here. We can just blow them out of the sky. Uh, there's a what this is, an apartment complex? Luna Park? There's a farm. Military outpost. Damn. Do I think I can fuck up a military outpost with this thing? Maybe. Oh, we should put in our earplugs. How would I... Camera system. Camera system enable. Aim turret manually. Aim individual turret. M2 Browning. A 63 range. But I can't even, like... See that? For, oh, zoom out. Yeah. Oh, sh Oh, shit. Look at this range. Oh my god. It's so incredible. Pretty good. All right, let's go fuck up the military outpost. The time has come. Oh, I should have ran over that pupil sack. I imagine we can run over just about everything. We can ramp up the speed a little bit. Here we go.
Oh shit. Fucking landmines. Oh, those actually did some damage. Oh, oh. We're not in good shape. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Fucking military outposts. They're gonna wonder what the fuck was that about? Well... Soaked up a lot of landmines, at least. Okay, well, that was... I think disappointing is the only real word. Also, I don't know why the sound was so borked. Something's, like, basically not kicking it out of the main menu music. Uh, alright, the surrounded scenario. This will be great. He's a lab assistant. Fast reflexes, infection-resistant, tough feet. He's got skills all over the board. Computers, food handling, healthcare, mechanics, social, survival, throwing, vehicles. Let's adjust. Well, oh, I can't take out... Where does he get social from? His profession? Oh, okay. A chemistry set. Tainted tallow. Okay. Helicopter pilot and knife throwing. I think we can live without those. Okay. Comrade Gary. As he's known. All right, uh, two tigers, what the fuck? I'm in the zoo somehow. And you might think, okay, he was at the zoo when it broke out, but why would he be in his full lab? Whatever. There's a zombie right next to me. And the tigers. Uh... I have a scalpel, but it, uh, it's not gonna be great. I could let the tigers out. There's moose, there's meeses out there. We're in the middle of a zoo. Might be able to just the best thing to do if you know if you can't just make some mad dash right away the best thing you can do is wait till night because then it's way easier to sneak out but it's not always doable ideally I'd make it to the south and then east but maybe just east? I don't know. I mean, we can... It's a long time to wait till night. And I feel a little exposed here. I guess I could crouch. Okay. Then the only problem we have is our scent. Okay, time's going by. Time's going by. Around noon now. We're still, in, I don't know, this music seems a little much, to be honest. Getting very thirsty here. It's afternoon. Early evening, we're getting there. All right, it 
is dark. Music changed. Uh, we got nothing, no drinks here. Shit, no drinks of any kind. Baseball bat. Better than what I got. Stay crouched. Fuck. Dead moose there. That's interesting. And we got a zombie there and a zombie to the southeast. Can't see to my current location. We're gonna have to sneak by. Oops, don't yell. Okay. Fuck. That's no go. That's no go. We gotta keep going south. I'm not very stealthy. We hit a dead end. all these moose oh my god fucking bloodbath here Kate zombie right there fucking there's a zombie right there Oh, he's locked in. Good. An antlered horror. Formerly majestic moose has succumbed to the infection, which is killing the world. Shiny green blowflies swarm the vast, superated patches of purulent flesh where its skin is sloughed away, and its remaining fur is black and matted with necrotic discharge. Wonderful. Good thing it's in its cage. Which it will likely break out of in like two seconds. Christ, this thing. area. The fuck do I get out of here? Fuck, how do I get out of this zoo? It's that front door or no door. God damn it. That's the way it'd be, that's the way it'd be, you know? We gotta do it.
I think we gotta make a run for it. your breath man severe pain and I uh, definitely don't have shelter cabin just feels so close to trouble I don't know about that cabin man I don't know what other chance I got out here though all right oh, I got a deep bite in my arm all I've got is a chemistry set and some tainted fat. Fucking. Fuck. In mild hypovolemic shock. food I guess but really need water Can maimed zombie yeah damn it mm, I think I did better I mean that was probably the best like city start I've ever had um I stuck too close to town that's for sure but the woods scare me, you know? Woods definitely scare me. But I should be scared of zombies because they're way more prevalent than anything in the woods. Hmm. Damn. Alright. Another miss scenario. Uh, but an apprentice. I don't really feel great about that. Refresh. Uh, burning building as a farmer. A whole bunch of positive stuff, and she's a schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. Hmm. Let's, uh... Periodically suffer from delusions. Yeah, that doesn't seem like something that will help me. Let's take away that and take away some of these... Uh, skills... There, we can start with Krav Maga. All right. Burning building with Krav Maga. There it is. Yeah, so there's not really any way to put it out without a fire extinguisher. We are on the edge of town, though, which is good news. And I see a cabin there. Although it's on the edge of the swamp, and I do hate that. So, the fire won't spread insanely quickly. At least we've got shelter. We just want to grab what we can. And, uh... Make a screwdriver sets good. Uh, flashlight, a hammer, a lighter, a pair of scissors, nah, exacto knife. Uh, some more batteries, long string. 
Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Very casually, just... Yeah, this looks good, this looks good, yeah, this is good. The uh, cabin should have a frying pan, I'm not overly concerned. Uh, medical supplies. See about that. Aspirin, melatonin, cough syrup. About it. Could be better. Um, we could check the basement real quick. Turn on the flashlight, and you can actually peek downstairs. Oh, this is the workshop, isn't it? Uh, we'll grab the solder for, you know, whatever we might use with it. Uh, soda can stove kit, very nice. And some more denatured alcohol. Just make antiseptic with that. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to be... Uh, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible here. I think we're good. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's barely spread. You could sleep here. But I think uh, we can poke our head out. All right, it's even fenced in for us. That's nice. Yeah, I think we just pop over into the woods and move on with our day. Brainless zombie all the way over there, but otherwise... Oh shit, SWAT zombie. Uh, moving away, moving away. Okay. We're in the clear. Fuck, bear bushes, fuck. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um... Yeah, okay. NPC just got burned alive. Well, that's your own damn fault, no, isn't it? There's a hazmat zombie following me. I don't like that. Nice cabin. I'm very familiar with cabins nowadays. Spend plenty of time in them. Used to be the evac shelter. Now it's cabins. At least this forest doesn't have like a big spider nest in the middle of it or anything. A good way to jinx myself, huh? Oh, God damn it, right next to the cabin. Fucking hell, why did I say anything? Uh, there's a Sturge. Large bat, oversized mosquito. What am I wielding? A hoe. Fuck. Gotta go with the hammer on this one. Cast blood suck. Why would you cast blood suck? Don't cast blood suck. I think I went after those lemmings. Stop the bleeding. Oh man. Dox found. A dachshund. Okay, so I don't feel comfortable with the cabin anymore. Uh, maybe this house is livable. Uh, we could take a look. Uh, 
There's a phant over there. Ailing sickly great ant. Okay. Or that. And down the road, we got zombie kids. Can zombie kids hanging out, playing ball. I don't know. I don't feel great about my... We do have Krav Maga. What can I do with Krav Maga? Um... Not... Um, I don't think I anything other than unarmed. And I think... Against kids, unarmed probably is better. Come on, kids. Let's see what we got. Ah. Krav Maga expert, that's for sure. Because I got no unarmed skill. We're gonna change that though. Uh pop some aspirin. Let's drop my backpack for now. Oh, I turned on debug mode. Okay, uh, we're up to unarmed one, melee one, but uh, the blood loss is really gonna screw me here. Should have made a cudgel while I was in that house. What was I thinking? Damage is just so low. And we gotta take some more aspirin. It's really gonna affect our shit. <laughs> Sit here and wait for a moment. Okay, moderate pain. of fighting why are you saying stuff like that because you're unhappy or do you have some other condition I don't know about point of fighting it's not like I'm a pacifist we're just losing a lot of fucking blood man Can't keep uh hopping aspirins. These kids are ruining me. Die, 
die, you little shit. Fuck. Rags even for do for wounds. Oh no. Put pressure on that wound. Now right, we're in unmanageable pain. That's not great. Let's try and get to some sort of house. Rag or those, it's pretty bad. This one's boarded up. Always sleeping on the roof. Uh, but I don't think I can make a bed here. Um, no, I can make antiseptic and bandages. Oh, they saw me or heard me. Uh, I don't think I can do. Damn, I don't have any containers for that. No, oh, I have mineral water I could drink. Or I can dump the bleach. Either way. It's got to be done. Uh, let's see. Well, won't I be able to use the bottle from the denatured alcohol? Uh, that's my assumption. Oh, but I don't I don't know. Let's see. Yes, perfect. I actually made 30 of this stuff. Well, that's nice. Antiseptic everything. Take a bath. Okay. Now I think we just sort of wait or read our beauty magazine. not actually reading much here, but, uh, passes the time. Pain's going away. Our body is healing. It's all good. Okay. Let's, uh, get this water in us. We're gonna need more than that. What to do about all this smashing down there? Uh, no, I don't think I'm ready just yet. Alright, let's see. A zombie technician. Oh, yeah. See, I mean... I don't know. This, this is not. That's not from vanilla. That's not from. That's from a mod. I'm almost certain because I've never seen one before. I flipped on all these mods, but whatever mod put this on, presumably Cataclysm, Cataclysm Plus Plus. That's just good. I mean, this is something you definitely would see. So it just makes sense. That's more of a concern. Put some distance between us and the fatso.
So fast. Walked right through that bush. Fuck you, man. Trying to get some stamina back and maybe stop bleeding. Oh, the fucking hazmat that we ditched. Shit. All right, we got uh, stamina back. I can't get through his. have to whip out my Zacto knife or whatever. Uh, or my hammer. I guess my hammer. I can't break the grab. My strength is so shit. And he keeps grabbing. was so fucking close god damn it Ugh. I just yeah I think I f I think I force confrontation too often I, I that's it if I had stayed on that roof until night I still probably would have been fucked but that's probably because I just wouldn't know what to do. I think that technician still would have seen or heard me or smelled me or whatever when I jumped down at night. Um, but then... No, but then what I was, should have done at that point is just run into the woods. I always just assume I can fight stuff. And if you build your character for... For fighting, you absolutely can. Like the fucking SWAT CQC. You can take out the whole town, no problem. Um, but the average character, your average random character, can't do that. Especially, I mean, yeah, Krav Maga, that's all great and fine, but uh, with no skill whatsoever. And actually, it, it's just like... You watch to fake some YouTube videos on it. It's like, yeah, I, I know Krav Maga, I could do that. And it's just like, no, you're going to get your shit torn up. <sighs> let me just, uh, let me just load it up one more time. I'm not going to go into it. Or I'm not going to play it. But I just want to see what my next lineup would be here. <laughs> Another surrounded, a rabbi. A female rabbi, that's nice. Lock picking and trapping hobbies. Basically useless skills, but decent stats. There you go. Let's see what that looks like. Again, I mean, you're in this where you're in a fucking church, of course. There's zombies that pretty much already see you. Even if I crouched. Uh, you know, it's no go. There's no sh no curtains whatsoever, so I can't stay here throughout the night. Um, I pretty much have to, like... There's a huge acidic ant to the north of me. You have to, like, get... People in there, or zombies in there. There's a wasp guard to the west of me that doesn't care. There's a zombie dog, I think, that just broke in. Oh, it's a Z9. It's even worse. Jeez. Oh my god. Look at this. 
<laughs> oh my god. I, I The game is just like... I think it sometimes just says fuck you. I, I think the game just... I don't know. I, got, I mean, the scenario is called Surrounded. What do you really expect? But it's like, what would you do in real life? What the fuck would you do in real life in this situation? You'd be so utterly boned. That is crazy. Look, I took one running step. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. <laughs> oh, 11 feral humans, 23 zombies, 7 fat zombies, 2 decayed zombies, 15 tough zombies, 3 zombie children, oh, 8 zombie children, and a zombie soldier. I'm surprised there's not more shit of, like, special stuff, but it is the first day. So the only thing you can do at that point is uh, commit suicide. There you go. In fucking sane. It's not an easy game. I mean, e yeah, even with a perfect start. The perfect start will keep you alive, most likely, for a little while. And if you're cautious and somewhat intelligent, you'll survive for a month or so. But the zombies get really intense with their evolutions. And yeah, I mean, it does in a lot of ways remind me of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. You can play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup a hundred times and still not beat it. You could play it 500 times. You could play it a thousand times and still not beat it. Because um, it's just designed to be fucking difficult. Um, but I, I, I think... Yeah, I, I generally do really prefer this game over Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And I know they're not really that similar in, in, in much sense. But those are just the two sort of old school kind of roguelikes that I've played now. Uh, sort of a, a similar visual style, turn-based, like completely turn-based and starting fresh every single time and, and procedural generation being involved and being fucking balls to the wall difficult and so on and so forth. Uh, so uh, yeah, I really like this game. But I don't, I don't know how much, uh, I don't know how many videos I should make of this. I don't know if anyone is at all interested in this. Especially because I'm just dying over and over. I think at this point, the only way I should make more videos is if I get a game going and it's like midsummer or something. If I, if I make it like a month and a half and I'm like, all right, I'm doing fucking good. Then I should jinx it by recording it. That's probably what should happen. Because you know, this is the first video that I record of it. I'll probably die. <laughs> but still, um, I think you've seen enough sort of starts to get the idea. There's really, there's no, there's no real point in doing one of the bullshit start scenarios such as Surrounded. Um, aside from a challenge. There's really no reason. The, the only reason you, you've played, you know, so many hundreds of hours or whatever, um, you're just so sick of like a normal, boring, safe start. You want to mix it up right away and see if you can survive. Or you want to just do something like this, you know, like just play a random thing and just, or something like that or play a surrounded scenario on purpose and just see how you do, you know? But otherwise, you don't get any benefit from starting like that. Uh, quite the opposite. The evac shelter really is, like, the, the way to start. That's why they have this fixed scenario button. Um, so you can just start as an evac uh, scenario with a random character. It's sort of the middle ground between the full random bullshit and just starting as a... Survivor in the evac shelter. Here you can get a little bit of randomness in there. 
Um, but yeah, it's really fucking good. It's really an incredible game. Uh, just like RimWorld, I'm sad it took me this long to discover it, but I'm, I'm glad that I did now because it's really damn good. So yeah, I'm gonna keep playing on my own. Uh, I haven't even uploaded. I've only uploaded like two of these videos at this point. So, you know, we'll let it run its course. And if people like it, uh, then yeah, I can definitely make some more videos, but I would like to get a, a campaign sort of going again to a good spot. All right. My name is Mang. Game watching has been Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. See you find folks around.